The next analytical uh, treatment is HMF, hydroxygen methyl furfural. And there is a international law that says that honey may not exceed, the amount of HMF in honey may not exceed the amount of 40 milligrams per kilogram honey. There is an exception for honeys from the tropical zone. They are allowed to have 80 milligrams per kilogram. If your honey is higher than 40 milligrams, then you may not call it anymore honey. You may call it whatever you like, but you may not call it honey. Um, what is the meaning of HMF? HMF can tell you two things. It can tell you how old the honey is, and it can tell you if the honey is heated too much. Because HMF is a, 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 a substance from fructose. <coughs> and if fructose is standing uh, by a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius, then every month the honey is standing there is increasing the amount of HMF by generally 1.5 milligrams. If the honey is coming out of the beehive, then there is already an amount of HMF in it for uh, about 4 to 5 milligrams. So you start in honey with 4 milligrams. Every month there is 1.5 milligram go, uh, increasing. If you do that uh, arithmetic, then you will see that after two years you have reached an amount of 40 milligrams of honey, of uh, HMF. And therefore, the European uh, legislation and also the American legislation tells that honey is only, may not be older than two years. Honey may not be older than two years because, as I said, after two years, generally speaking, you have a 40 milligrams uh, amount of HMF. Now, I must say this is a generally statement because if you have monofloral honey, then you will see there are scientific uh, research, a lot of it, there are all kinds of papers that show you that monofloral honeys can have, have different uh, results. So it's generally speaking 40 milligrams, but if you have a monofloral honey, it could be faster being 40 milligrams, or it takes longer before you reach the 40 milligrams. Now, what we have to do for it is, so you, you, you measure the, 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 how old the honey is, or you have a, a measurement of, or, or it tells you something about the honey is overheated. Now, what we have to do now is to make a solution, but another mixed solution than the 10 to 50. What we are making now is a solution of 5 grams of honey, plus 20 milliliters demineralized water. So five grams of honey. We take the same honey as we did before. And we take five grams of honey. And we fill it up with 20 milliliter of demineralized water.
I should actually say not fill it up, but add 20 milliliters mineralized water to it. Once again, stir it thoroughly. We can use this solution immediately. We don't have to let it stand for some time, we can use it immediately. Now, what we are using now is special strips. Good. Uh, one remark in front, if you buy these strips, hydrogen methyl furthural, uh, of Merck, uh, then you have to take care that you have to store them at a low temperature, 2 to 8 degrees Celsius, otherwise they uh, are going, uh, not giving you the exact measurements. The strips are looking like this, there are two uh, um, treatment areas and what you what happens actually is we dip them in the honey in uh, over uh, in some time then we push it in here and what happens is there is a light beam inside this instrument and that light beam is putting lights on these two cushions and the cushions will reflect a light back but a light from a different frequency and the different frequency tells you something about the HMF amount. So we're gonna do it now. I switch the device on, then I push on start, then a stopwatch is uh, in action and what I do with 120 seconds, a stopwatch of 120 seconds, what I'm doing now is I am I'm activating the stopwatch by this and I do one, two, three, three seconds in it and I dip the amount, the extra amount of fluid off and I keep it in, possible in a dark area somewhere around the table because you don't want to have a influence of the light outside on it. Now we are waiting until the stopwatch has reached the amount of 20 seconds. By 20 seconds we put the strip into the machine. So it's now 83 seconds, so we have to take a, a, a few times and then it's going in. Pay attention when you put the strip in, then the cushion should be on the left side. In the past I made a mistake and I put it on the right side, then you get a wrong Result. So keep those cushions on the left side when you push them in. It's now 54 seconds. We still have to wait. It's nearly there then. By a little bit before 20 seconds, I can push this a little bit to the right side. It's coming up now, and now I'm pushing this strip in it, completely to the front, and leave it, and then I put this back, because I don't want other light in the area. After, when the, the, amount, when the display shows 5 seconds, the measurement starts. You can see that on the right, down corner you see flickering now something and that means it's measuring now. It's zero, it's 5.5. .5. That means this is a solution 
of 5 grams in N20 milliliters. It's a ratio of 1 to 4. That means that you have to multiply the measurement on the display, which shows us 5.5 by 4. So the real amount of HMF in this honey is uh, 22. 22 milligrams per kilogram. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with it. So this, this shows us one thing. This honey is not too old and this honey has not been heating up too high. That's the result we are measuring.